Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, um, we're going to do an interesting problem. We have to find u dot v, so the dot product of two vectors. However, we're not given the vectors, okay? So we're given the magnitude. So we're given that the magnitude of u is 50 and the magnitude of v is 20. And then we're given the angle between them to be five pi over six. So a little bit of an unconventional problem, right? So normally when you're asked for the dot product, you know, you're given the vectors. In this case, we're just given the magnitudes and the angle between the vectors. So there's a way to do this using a formula, right? So recall that, um, let me write it this way. The cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between u and v, is equal to u dot v, divided by the magnitude of u, those are my arrows, terrible handwriting, magnitude of v. Right, so you can solve this for u dot v by multiplying both sides by the bottom piece here. So we have u, dot v, right, equals, and then multiplying by this on both sides, we get the magnitude of u, right, times the magnitude of v, okay, and then times the cosine of theta, right, so now all we do is we plug everything in and we're careful and then we get the answer. So the magnitude of u is 50, so this is going to be 50, good stuff. The magnitude of v is 20, so we have 20, and then we have the cosine of uh, 5 pi over 6. Good stuff, right? So 50 times 20, well 50 times 10 is 500, right? So 50 times 20 should be 1,000, because it's double that, so 1,000. And then cosine of 5 pi over 6, so I know that the cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2. So 5 pi over 6 is over here. It's in quadrant 2, right? Because this is pi, which is 6 pi over 6. So 5 pi over 6 will be here. It's a little bit smaller than 6 pi over 6. So because the cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2, 5 pi over 6 has the same reference angle. So cosine is the x coordinate on the unit circle, and x is negative here. So this is negative square root of 3 over 2. Wow, it's a mouthful. So that's like all of trig in like 10 seconds, or at least the most important stuff. Um, 2 goes into 1,500 times, so 500, and I forgot my negative sign there, so negative 500 square root of 3, and that should be the final answer. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there who's working on a problem like this. It's a little bit different um, than what you normally see, so that's it. Take care, guys.